after the ultimate streaming toolbox for five sticks and your tvs is 100 percent free it gives you the ability to install applications install multiple applications with one click it allows you to fully remote control your streaming device it allows you to back up and restore your kodi builds your kodi add-ons all with one click it gives you the ability to edit your timers screen saver screen off and on all of those timers can be set you can capture the screen you can stop running processes you can send adb commands really just have total management of your streaming device with this 100 free toolbox i use it pretty much every day to manage all of my devices doesn't matter if you're using Fire Sticks, Google devices, Android TV devices, all devices, as long as they're on Android, can be fully managed from this toolbox. So let me give you a quick demonstration and then I'll show you exactly how you can install this. Now, step number one, let's say, for example, I want to manage my Fire TV Cube. The only thing you want to do is confirm firstly that ADB is enabled, which we can see here. Inside the developer options, I can confirm ADB debugging is on. Let's go back. And secondly, you just want to confirm what your IP address is. So let's go to about and we can see that my address ends in 148. So 192.168.0.148. So that's the only information that I need. I can now jump over to this toolbox. I'm running wine on a Windows VM. Here we are. So the toolbox is called ADB Link. And really, it's a, a Swiss Army knife of things you can do on any device running Android. So I mean, you can just see here from the options, you can browse the files, you can access ADB, you can install applications, you can uninstall applications, backup, you can move the Kodi installation folder, edit timers, edit cache. It really has some fantastic features. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make a connection to our device. Let's go to new. I can now give the connection a name. So this is going to be my third gen cube. The key thing I need is my IP address, so 192.168.0.148. The rest of the things I can leave as default. Let's click on save. We can see that's now in the list and it currently shows us disconnected. I can now click on connect. And you can see in the background, as with all ADB connection attempts, you do have to authorize that. So let me do that now. So always allow, click on OK. Let's go back to the toolbox. We can see it still says unauthorized. Let's click on connect now and we are now connected. So that's pretty much it, guys. We've now made a connection to our device and we now have full control to fully manage this device. And somebody looking to become a power user or somebody that just wants more control of their device, I really think this is something essential. OK, so now that we made a connection, let me take you through some of those key features. So, I mean, even just things here, if I go to this thing here, you can see I have the option to download this application. So I can click on that. And I can now choose which version I want to download. So this will now automatically make a connection to that website and download this directly to your device. So super easy to do. No need for me to mess around with download or other applications. Directly from here, I can download the latest version and push that to my device. Now let's do cancel for now. Let's start with the very basics. So I want to install an application to this device. So let me go back to the home screen on my Fire TV Cube. Let's click on install APK. Let's say I want to install this DB TV Assistant, some kind of cleaning utility for Android TV and Fire TV devices. So let's click on that. Let's click on open. So do you want to install this application? Click on yes. Takes a couple of seconds that then pushes the application to your device and automatically invokes the installation process. That is now completed and we can see this in the background has now appeared and the application is now successfully installed. And the great thing is you can select multiple applications. So let's say, for example, you're setting up a new device. You've got your favorite streaming applications, your favorite utilities, your favorite media players. You can literally just select all of them. And with one click, all of them will be pushed directly to your device and the installation will happen in the background. And the next time you look at your device, all those apps will now be installed correctly and be more or less ready to use. So it really is a great feature of this application. Then you've got the file manager, so I can click on that. This now shows me the file manager or the file system of my connected device. So here we can see, for example, we've got the download folder. Let's open that up. And here we can see inside downloader, some of the things are previously downloaded. So here we can see we've got uh, the Roku channel. We can see some Well TV, some other application. And let's say, for example, I want to now pull those from my device and bring them over to my machine. So all I need to do is just double click on that. Let's try local now. Let's double click on that. So do you want to pull this file? I can click on yes. 
This then pulls the file from my device and brings it over to my computer. So a great way for you to back up applications. Maybe you've downloaded them before via downloader. You can now bring them from downloader and bring them over to your device with one click. That's now done. And similarly, you can now also push applications from your device directly to the downloader folder. So, and similarly, you can also delete files directly from here. So let's say I want to delete, let's delete the top one and this one here. And uh, let's just do these four files, right click, delete. Do you want to delete these files? Say yes. If you look in the background, let's back out of this. Those files have now been removed and we're only left with a couple of files. So again, just super easy for you to fully manage your entire file system of your streaming device. Then you can also edit the timers. So if I click on that now, so I can now very easily change both options for the sleep timeout, i.e. when the screen turns off, or the screensaver timeout, i.e. when the screensaver is activated. So let's say, for example, I want my device to go to sleep very quickly. I can change that to just 5,000. That should be five seconds. So let's do OK to that. So in the background now, we can see five, four, three, two, one. And we can see in the background, my device has now gone to sleep. So that definitely works. Obviously, you can actually increase this to a more normal number, like maybe half an hour or an hour. But or for the people that want to turn off sleep completely, click on this, click on OK. And from that point forward, your device will now no longer go to sleep. So it just gives you that control. So you can really make the decisions as you want, as you see fit on your device. So that's in the timers. And you also have this feature here, which is called screen copy, which is the ability to see the screen and also fully control your device. I actually had a use case for this where recently I needed to uh, make some changes to an application that needed a mouse toggle. I didn't want to plug in a Bluetooth mouse or use a Bluetooth mouse. I use this feature to control that device and click on the things that normally would require a virtual mouse. So let's see how that works. I click on this button here. So do you have any arguments if you want to change the resolution or other options, but let's just leave the default, click on OK. And we can see three, two, one, very quickly, I can now see my entire device in a small window here. And it's not just seeing it guys, I have full control. So when I press left, we can see in the background, those commands are now being sent to the screen. So let's go over to the right. I can press enter to select and now I have full control of my device from my computer. Similarly, I can use the mouse. Let's say, for example, I click on um, IP Vanish. Let's click on that. And we can see that then launches in the background. So a great way for you to fully manage your device, fully control your device just by using the remote control feature of ADB Link. Now, you also have the ability to send ADB commands. So whether you want to see things running in the background, whether you want to make changes, more advanced changes, I can click on ADB shell and now I have direct ADB access to my Fire TV cube. I can go ahead and issue any ADB command directly to my device by just typing it in here. Let's back out for that. I mean, you can see guys, just so many features, so many things you can do. You can, for example, take screenshots as well. So if you want to show something or share something with somebody else, you can take a screen cap of exactly what you have on your streaming device at that particular time. You've got the ability to move the K application folder. You can back up the K application folder. Just so many things to tinker with, so many things you can do. I do think for somebody looking to fully admin or fully manage their device, and this toolbox is something that I would highly recommend. So I'll leave a link to the developer's website in the pinned comment. So you can go ahead and install the latest version directly from there. And lastly, just a quick word from one of our partners, IP Vanish, who've recently gone through a massive infrastructure upgrade, including now adding in RAM only servers. So these servers are lightning fast and they have no storage. So there really is no chance of any kind of logging happening. And if you are somebody that's concerned about their privacy, just wants maximum security, everybody should be using a VPN because when you use a VPN, you are now no longer using your own IP address. Rather, you are using an IP address provided from your VPN service provider. And with this different IP address, you can then go ahead and unlock different content from around the world. You can unlock the entire Netflix library and really just keep yourself safe online. I've been using this for more than, I think, five years now. I have tried other VPNs during that time. I think I tried Nord for a bit. I tried Surfshark for a bit. I tried Express for a bit. But ultimately, I always come back to IP Vanish because it just gives me that consistent performance. It allows me to access all of the applications I want to access and works great on all of my devices because they give you those unlimited connections. So one account, you can install it on 10 Fire Sticks, five laptops, 300 TVs. 
really as many devices as you like. So that kind of flexibility and that amazing price point, which you can see here for just over $2 a month, it really is a fantastic offer. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. Or you can also take advantage of this free eSIM. So wherever you are in the world, you can now take advantage of this special offer. So lots of great freebies, great price, great performance, works on all of your devices. And again, at this price point, it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.